Learning doesn't just occur in the four walls of our classrooms. Learning occurs everywhere. I wanted to learn how to grow oysters myself. I would like to be a second grade elementary teacher. I didn't know if I wanted to be a doctor. I didn't know if I wanted to be an engineer. Yellow extended learning opportunities, giving kids a chance to get some hands-on exploration in the world around them. We do extended learning opportunities in this state because we care about young folks having a clearer sense of what they want to pursue after high school. Really helping kids explore what would it look like if that's what I decided I wanted to do. Sometimes trying something, it's not always about just finding what you like. Sometimes it's finding what you don't like to help direct you to where you want to go. We've seen kids step up. They turn into adults. Kids who wouldn't remember to bring a pencil to class get up at 4.30 in the morning to go to a job site. Arriving on time, asking good questions. How do you make eye contact? How are you today? Can I make withdraw out of my savings, please? Learning customer service, they're learning a lot about the financial world. They're learning things that they can use in their personal lives down the road. Very important life skills that you can't get in the classroom all the time. They're learning in the real world what it is to be an adult, but they still have the training wheels of high school, which is wonderful. All you have to do is get the ball rolling and it takes off on its own. And every community is different. We are about to start the amazing race of Gorham. Are you excited? Yeah! All right, go! We know that if students and teachers start engaging with community early, they're much more likely to have awareness about what matters to them and what the opportunities are by the time they arrive at junior and senior year of high school. And for an employer, you're creating that partnership with a student that could lead to their future career success. Not only do we get some great help, but the kids get experience in something that, you know, they probably never would have in their life. It's just been a great program. So we're happy that they can work with us and the end result is we get some young people who have opportunities they wouldn't have otherwise been given. The week after graduation, I went in for an interview, they hired me and here we are today. It is important that we engage our youth in opportunities to build a career here in Maine and not necessarily feel like they have to leave our state. Making those connections that are oh so important as we graduate and move on. Most people go into college thinking what degree they want to do and then they end up changing it. And this really helps me to know that I actually want to teach. After graduating from the ELO program, decided just to keep on working here. Well, there's a workforce shortage in Maine. But the stats are out there and I think schools need to be responsive to that. For the success of Maine and our small communities in Maine is the more we engage communities and young people in their communities in hands-on meaningful ways. I think we really are going to help create the longevity and success of our kids in our communities. The purpose of school is to prepare our students to be successful as young adults. What does that success look like? It looks like they have every choice that they want to have when they walk across our stage with their graduation caps and gowns. They have every choice that they want to have, and that is success.